Now, so far, technologies, ladies and gents, have finished uh, the week up over 5.8%, which is something that is incredible uh, because these, ladies and gents, resulted in the shares of so far finishing the week trading at $6.33. Now, this, like I said, excites uh, investors or those that are investing onto this stock because uh, this is a stock that of we are still last week or when the week end uh, last week we saw it of course trading below six dollars per stock now to get to see of course so far trading over uh, over six dollars uh, it brings some hope some confidence back into the really retail investor now one of the things that obviously uh, revived this stock this week it was of course the announcement made by SoFi that they have uh, partnered with LA Chargers quarterback uh, Mr. Herbert which is one of the things that obviously is going to result in uh, the sum of the consumers so it's going to attract more people into coming and want to join so fight technologies but before we dig deep into this topic or into these latest developments that resulted in the shares of so far ending the week up over 5.8 percent you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video now i'll really appreciate it if you can just hit that like button comment and subscribe and once you're subscribed don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise uh, like i said i would really like it from the bottom of my heart if you hit that like button if you do enjoy the content that i'm giving you about so far technologies now without wasting any time one of the things or like i said one of the main reasons why we saw of course this recovery it was when so far announced a team up with the L.A. Chargers quarterback Mr. Herbert, which he indicated that it's time to break up with bad banking and join banks like Sofa Technologies, which offers you a wide range of services, not just maybe having to receive interest on your account but you can also do a wide range of services uh, from one platform as you know that so far technologies its mission it is to become that one-stop shop for all things relating to digital banking as you already know that right now consumers on so far's platform they can save borrow invest spend and of course trade which is one of the things that makes so far or continues to attract a lot of consumers into coming into SoFi technologies you will know that SoFi technologies or if you've been investing into SoFi you know that obviously they have a banking charter right now of they early this year they got an approval of the banking charter which allows them to operate as a bank which is something that is incredible and something that continue motivates me to remain bullish stay long onto this SoFi technology stock so, so the, these uh, of course strategic uh, sort of like uh, partnership or strategic move by SoFi with the LA Chargers quarterback it is one of the strategic moves that SoFi it is doing as you know that this is not the first time we saw of course SoFi doing such strategic partnership because even the SoFi stadium ladies and gents SoFi bought rights for that stadium to be named after it which is one of the strategic moves again that so far it is trying to do to try to attract a lot of people into coming and using their services so far technology is a lot not only ladies and gents it is uh, just inviting consumers to come and use the, all, the old system that you find in traditional banks but one of the things that is making them to be separated from the traditional banks is that they are offering a wide range of services within their platform which is one of the things that will make them succeed i mean this is a company that each and every quarter when they report earnings they gave us the uh, results showing us that they have, they are seriously acquiring or they are seeing a quite number of inflows each and every quarter of consumers coming into SoFi wanting to enjoy or reap the benefits that the SoFi platforms offers which is one of the things that is going to continue encouraging or bringing in a lot lots and lots of consumers but one of the things that already you know as a SoFi retail investor or as a SoFi investor is that obviously SoFi revenue has been of course uh, sort of like impacted by the student loan uh, repayment halts which were imposed or which started back in 2020 or early 2020 when the pandemic started uh, being serious which is one of the things that obviously you know that student loan is one of the things that of course so far generates uh, its revenue from and so far they told us that 
because of this they lose around 25 million dollars or because of these holds they are losing about 25 million dollars on their revenue each and every quarter which is one of the things that to, uh, of course, like I said, it's humming so far technologies. But one of the good things, ladies and gents, is that the Biden administration has already told us that obviously student loan repayments are going to resume starting uh, uh, January of 2023, uh, which guess what? This will not only obviously boost other private lenders, but it will also increase the revenues of, of SoFi and get them uh, a step closer to becoming a profitable uh, company, which is one of the things that, ladies and gents, excites retail investors or motivate me as a retail investor to continue loading the boat, increasing my holdings onto SoFi Technologies because I know that when student loan uh, a repayment a resume so we are going to see so five technologies uh, are generating more revenues which will get them closer and closer to profitability otherwise you already know that so far technologies is expected to be profitable between 2023 and 2024 by analysts and when they get to that stage that is when i probably believe that most retail investors or most investors will then want to come and obviously invest into SoFi because it is not all investors that like to invest in a, into a stock or a company that's not profitable. And I personally believe that once SoFi becomes profitable, then ladies and gents, we are easily going to see a lot of consumers, a lot of inflows from investors wanting to invest into this company. Otherwise, with all that, guys, I just thought I should just give you this quick update about what is it that resulted in the shares of SoFi, ladies and gents, to finish the week up. 5.8 or over 5.8 percent if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button comment and subscribe and once you subscribe don't forget to hit or click that notification bell so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content otherwise that's all from me and i wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and before you load the board increase your holdings onto software technologies please do make sure that you do your own dd so that at least you can be comfortable when you are investing into this stock otherwise that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and God bless you all.